All right, what's going on, man? It's Rashawn, your boy Rashawn, a.k.a. Looker. I want to talk about something real quick today. Well, this evening, I should say. I want to talk about customer service. It seems to be like a lost art. And today you can go into, you know, businesses, uh, whatever it is, uh, clothing stores, uh, some restaurants, um, and the people today just don't know what customer service is. It's like, you could be having a great day and you walk into an establishment to spend money and you get to the register and the person is just, you got to, you as the customer have to say hello to them or they have this or, or they, or they have an attitude and it's like, do anybody understand when you working in customer service, you have to, if you have an, if you working in customer service, retail, food, no matter what your day, what you may be going through, when you step into that, when you're working out in the public, you got to know how to hide your feelings and what's going on with you because when you walk in it's not about when you walk in for work it's not about you you have to perform for the customer you have to put on you have to greet the customer you have to acknowledge the customer i'm trying to figure out where is the management at and who trained them because, I mean, you could just name your. I'm not not. I'm not dropping no names and no businesses out here because that's not what this is about. This is just plainly talking about customer service, and it's like a lost art. And to have customer service, you have to have manners as well to have customer service, and you have to know good manners to have customer service as well. And what I'm saying today is a lot of a lot of people. That obviously ain't been taught no no manners, and it's like today you go into establishments and it's like you're getting on a nerve. Like you come in there as a customer, a paying customer, and you're getting on a nerve. And it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> did like did, did did some of these folks forget like the customer is the reason why you you may have a job and this business is even open. Do do they even understand that? I guess some people that work customer service with those attitudes and those demeanors must think that the money falls out of the sky. Like the business that they're working in is running itself. And it, and I'm not saying and it's not about kissing the customer but we we not we not talking about that we understand you know customer service working in customer service you deal with you deal with some customers too that really be pushing people buttons as well but we not talking about that right now we talking about customer service because again <clears throat> you working in retail working in food service out in the public Whatever you doing in the public, if you got your own business, uh, whatever it is, you could be doing car detailing for people. What you could be selling used tires, you could be I, whatever you doing, and you uh, you you in the public, one on one with the people, right there with them. You have to give the people customer service. You have to greet the people. You have to make eye contact with them. You got to make the people feel good. You got to you got to show them that you appreciate them. You know what I mean because and it's not about kissing the customers but but top customer service like people they'll tell you, yeah, kiss the customers butt. That's what you supposed to do. I'm not saying kiss the customers butt, but you cuz we we are human, you don't kiss nobody's butt. 
but you have to make the customer feel welcome when they come into the establishment. And that's what it's about. You cannot like a customer is walking down the aisle and you see a customer and a customer, you know, and, and I've seen this happen so many times, you know, and I've even myself had to address, you know, uh, someone in the retail, you know, like I'm in the aisle looking for something and they're, and they're, they're, they're a couple of feet away from me stocking, you know, stocking something up on the aisle and you, and you see me walking back and forth looking for something and you don't even look up to say, Hey, can I assist you? You know what I mean? Nothing. So I have to say, Hey man, what's up? You work here, right? Can I get your help? You know, it, it, it's like, you, it's all backwards now. It's like the customer has to address the customer service rep because when you want to when you want a sales floor wherever whatever it wherever wherever you at you could be in the Lowe's or Walmart or Home Depot you could be in the grocery store whatever chain grocery store you you know is on your side of the country. Wherever you are, you could be in a tire shop, wherever you are. When a customer steps in, you're supposed to greet them. You're supposed to assist them, let them know that you are there to help them. Plain and simple. And it's just a lost art. And I just see it over and over. And what's so bad, what makes it bad now is that I'm seeing a lot more young, young kids, you know, and it's bad because whoever's the management in these companies at these retail spots, they need to be checked. They need to be checked and put in a spot because you you should be definitely training a lot of these young ones working out here in retail about customer service. I know when I came up as a shorty and working fast food jobs or whatever or working hospitality jobs or whatever um the old heads they took that serious the met the management they took that serious hey this is what you do this is it's about the customer uh it, it's about if it, if it was in hospitality like a nursing home or something hey it's about the residents you make sure you 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 you, you greet them you know they they're the reason why we we here. We, they're the reason why we, we, we got a job. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was I was made aware of that. And I was told how to how to go about that. Today I don't see so much of that. I you know, it's it's very rare. And big up to the to the to the young kids that's that is out here working in customer service, retail, food service, whatever you doing. And you one on one with the customer, you know what I'm saying? Um, big up to y'all that know what customer service is. And for you managers that don't, that haven't fully trained your people, and you're not keeping an eye on your folks, you know, because today you could go into certain establishments, man. And if it's not a, if it's not a small business, you know, when you go into these chains, a lot of times you you rarely know who who's the manager. You rarely see that presence. It seems like today they 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 hiding somewhere. They hiding in the office under the desk somewhere. You know what I mean? Like they're not. You 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 don't see them. They're not making their presence felt. I've actually seen managers. Just for instance, I you know because I, I I can say these things because I was in management. You know what I'm saying in retail for over ten years. Okay, so just for instance, I was in a restaurant. A week ago, last weekend to be to be exact, okay. Today, actually, today is March the twenty third, twenty twenty one. So last last weekend, well, last Friday, I want to say it was maybe. I'm in the restaurant now. I'm watching the managers now, and I and I often do this stuff, and I'm watching the managers, and I watch them go to other tables. And never once came to, to 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 my table and said, hey, is everything okay? But I watched them go around to other tables. I paid attention to that. 
you know, and it just, it just makes you, it just makes you like where, who, who taught you why get in this business or why get in that business, uh, food service, retail, why get in the business if you're not a people person? That's for people that, that game, that feel, I wouldn't say game, that feel, that's for people that are, that's outgoing. You got to be ready to talk to people. You got to be willing to spark up a conversation with people. You understand? Like, you don't even know who you may meet out here just from holding a conversation with somebody. You know, when people come out to spend their money, that's a, that's, that's, you know, as, as whack as you may think it is, that's an exciting time for people, you know, but even, even. If they're used, if they got money without it, whatever, yada, 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 and they used to spending money, it's still uh, a rush and excitement for them. So it's not about kissing no butt. It's not about kissing tail, kissing their tail. It's just about making the customer feel appreciated. It's sparking our conversation. You know, um, making that eye contact with them and letting them know you there for them, you there to help them. You should never work in re you should never if you work in resale, you should never be walking by a customer. I don't care if you if it's twenty customers coming in the door and you gotta walk by and you're walking in the direction of these twenty customers, you are supposed to speak to every last one of them customers. That's rule number one in customer service. Every customer you see, you are supposed to greet them. Every one of them. It should never, you should never have a customer standing beside you and you don't say anything to them. Never should be. Customer service is about going all out, above and beyond. That's what customer service is about. The experience. Giving the person the experience. No matter if they shop in your store a hundred times, they should get the same experience every time. From you and others. They should get the, they're supposed to get the same experience. It's all about being pleasant and greeting. It's a lost art. Customer service is a lost art. And let's talk about let's talk about customer service when you call people. But if you if, if 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 people work in call centers for whatever business, it could be a credit card credit card company, it it could be insurance companies, whatever. And they're doing customer service over the phone. You need to when you answer on the phones. You you need to it, it needs to resonate because that's all the customer can hear when they talking. That's all they get is the phone. They get your voice over the phone. That's all they get. And people can get the vibes over the phones too. So when you're talking to people on that phone, you, you need to be upbeat as all get out. You need to be able to assist at all. You need to be you need to be just as comforting as if you were in their face. Same thing. Same thing. Going above and beyond. Same thing. Making the customer, giving them a pleasant greeting, showing appreciation, going above and beyond. That's customer service, man. And it's a, like I, mean, I keep saying it is a lost art. I'm going to tell you what was crazy. I was in a store. Like I said, I don't want to put businesses out there because that's not what this is about. I just want to talk about customer service. And I'm going to give y'all some examples. So again, right? So two weeks ago, I'm in the business. I'm in a, I'm in this big retail, big chain store. And a young lady, it was, it was a, it was an older woman, a senior, you know, one of our one, a elder, elder woman, one of our elders, I should say. Right. Right. So she was asking for, uh, she was asking for these vitamins, uh, right, right off the top of my head, the, the, the name, I can't remember the name, but she, but she was asking for these vitamins. So the young girl was ringing her up. So 
the young girl's like, huh? What? Like, I don't know, huh? What? And I'm looking and we're looking like, what the? You know, like, so she didn't understand what the lady was saying instead of the cashier act, instead of and the cashier was a young girl. Instead of the, she could have probably been about no more than 21. I would give her no more than 21. Instead of the young, the cashier just saying to, to the lady, uh, could you repeat that again, ma'am? I didn't quite hear you. And, and if you didn't, and if she didn't understand that, still what the customer was asking, she, sh she should have got on the microphone or got on the walkie talkie, whatever she had and c contacted someone else and asked, Hey, this customer is looking for this. Could you, I, I'm, I'm not quite understanding what that is. Could you help us out here? Could you come over to my, to my register and help, help this customer out? That's customer service. If you don't know, it's, it's okay. It's a big, it's a big store. It's okay. But you say, hold on, ma'am. Let me, I don't know what that is, but hold on, ma'am. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure you get what you need. And it's a senior. It's a senior. It's a senior citizen. It's, one, it's our elder. Like, you, what do you mean? Like, so I had to, we had to tell the young girl, like, and tell the customer, like, you know, we, we yelled out, she's asking for such and such. It's right over there. It's vitamins. You know, at that point, you would have thought the young girl, she still never even said to us, oh, thank you for, cause I didn't, she never even said that. Like some of these young folks, y'all got to understand y'all, y'all got to understand y'all want a job. Y'all have to, y'all gotta, y'all gotta perform, man. And y'all can't be wearing your, your y'all can't be wearing your feelings on your face all day long. Like y'all, y'all, y'all need to walk around with y'all, with y'all back straight with some, put some pep in your step. I, I, I watch a lot of y'all walk around these, these establishments and y'all, some of y'all, I'm not saying all of y'all, some of the ones that I've seen just have no pep in their step. You need to get some life in you. Like you, you are in a wrong game and you will not. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all people in general, period, a lot, not just talking about the young, a lot of y'all. If this was back in the day when main when a lot of businesses were based off of commission, a lot of y'all would not have a job today. A lot of y'all would not have a job today. <laughs> and I'm just being straight up. You know, everybody talk about getting to the bag. Get to the bag. Get to the bag. Get that money. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody talk about getting to the bag. But nobody ever talks about what it takes to get to the bag. You you need to have customer service. You need you need, you need to have some oomph with you. Cause half of the time, half of the time, things ain't gonna just always sell itself. It got to be the person behind the item that sell it. Just cause you got a product all the time, it's not gonna sell itself. If you if you got customer service, you could change somebody's mind about buying something. If you got good customer service, you know what I mean? You can change, you can change somebody's mind about buying something. And then if you, and just being, having some, having, having, having an upbeat attitude and all that, man, and you working out here in customer service, you know, a lot of customers, we, we all want, you know, want, uh, want, want someone to you know when you're going out you want to be recognized as you know you want you 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 want the the, the customer service agents or whatever reps or whatever you want them to recognize you you know it makes you feel good that you that somebody recognize you and they greet you makes you want to spend your money but when you but if you walk into an establishment and someone doesn't recognize you and you and you're walking around and you're seeing a bunch of employees, no one looks up, they're in a huddle, talking in a group, they're not they're not uh greeting the customers. 
You know, cause, you know, a lot of us will walk out of establishments when we see that because we say this place doesn't this place doesn't deserve my money. You know what I mean? This place doesn't deserve my money. But see, some of y'all wouldn't care because y'all just think that the money just falls from out of the sky. Y'all forgot that the customers that walk in the door is the reason why you got a job. It ain't because that building just sitting there. And it ain't because some of the stuff is in the store. The, re the reason you got a job is because of the customer. Because if you see right now today, you already, really? If a lot of these retailers could do it, if they if they if they if they thought it could have been done fully at uh, uh, at one hundred percent, there will be no more cashiers. The self checkouts that you see in these places, that was an experiment that was talked about over twenty years ago. But some of y'all wouldn't know this because some of y'all, some of y'all might not were even born twenty years ago. So, but those of you who were. That was something talked about over 20 some odd years ago. I want to say about 25 years ago that was talked about it was an experiment. It was something they said they were going to start experimenting with. And that was ultimately supposed to wipe out all cashiers. But as you see in most retails, you know, in some establishments, that they still need someone to man those centers. But eventually... In due time, it's going to take over because they felt the need like, hey, it could save money. And they thought it, it, it can move things along faster. So anybody that's in customer service, man, and retail, my best thing to say to you, food service, whatever it is, my best thing to say to you is y'all better y'all better pep up, man. If that's what you plan on doing, y'all y'all better pep up, man, because after a while, man, give it a give it give it another decade, it ain't gonna be no more cashiers. That might not even be that ain't even gonna be an option uh, 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 to have as a second job. You know, some people do it as a second job. Some people need that. That's a primary job for them. So, however, however it is, however, however. Better pep up, man, because it ain't going to be here for too much long. You know what I mean? But if you're giving customer service and and, and you give a customer service out here, it can, it, can, it can last. It can last forever because the people will say that that's what they want. But if you're not giving customer service, the people say, well, heck, yeah, I can ring my own. I can ring my own uh, items up. I don't need. I I don't need that. They weren't they weren't like they were customer uh friendly anyway. You know what I'm saying? So hey man. Like I said, everybody talk about getting to the bag. Everybody talk about getting that money. But everybody talk about hustling. But nobody talk about like what it takes. Like you gotta have some customer service, man, when you dealing with the people, man, and you dealing with people hard earned money, man. You know, now if you now you just dealing with people that just blow money and throw money away, you know what I mean? And they just, you know, got a bunch of hustlers that just coming up in your spot. But when you got hard working, tax paying people, man, they want some respect. And you got to understand something. We all. We all are customers at some point of the day. We are customers. So you got to treat, if you work in a retail, you need to treat them customers how you want to be treated. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's just how that go. You got to remember that. At some point of the day, you are a customer yourself. We all are. You know, so you got to remember that. But if you, if, so, so if that's how, you want people to treat you when you work, when you spending your hard earned money, or you don't respect your money. You know what I mean. So you don't care how people treat you. 
I still say get out of retail <laughs> if you ain't going, you know what I mean? Because you got to be, you, you, you got to be pleasant. You got to have manners. You got to know how to greet people, look them in the eye. A lot of y'all don't can't even look people in the eye, you know? Y'all got to be able to look people in the eye when you greeting them. Let them know that you there to assist them. It's not about following anybody around. It's not about hassling them. Like I said, if you're walking down the aisle and there's 20 customers coming towards you, you're supposed to greet each and every one of those customers. Point blank period. Point blank period. Ain't no ifs, ands, buts about it. If it wasn't for the customer, you would not have a job. Period. If you're working in retail, food service, whatever. Whatever. And it's a bad thing when I see it when I see it in restaurants. It, it's it's a bad thing when I see that in restaurants, because one not greater than the other. Retail or food service, I'm not gonna say because you you still it's still uh, you you dealing with people and their money and their time. And it's all about respect, about being pleasant, making people feel comfortable. They spending money. That's not your money. They spending their money. And so it's something that I want to talk about because I hear everybody talking about flipping houses. Uh, yeah, buying this property, buying that property, buying these cars, buying, that, you know. You know Buying and selling, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hearing all of that, but I never hear customer service, man. Like, what about the customer service, man? And like I said, I'm gonna end it on this. I'm not here to talk about. I, I, I understand we not we not. I, I've talked about that before as well, about customer service and the customers. You know, uh, you know, coming and being respectful as well. So. Uh, we 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 are we know the flip side of things too, but I'm talking about customer service because that's something that that's a lost art, and no one talks about it, and it needs to be talked about. It needs to be taught. And if you're a manager out there, and you don't know the rules when customer service, you need to go back and get you some classes. You need to go. You need to tell you. You need to tell your company to sign you up. Get you, get you some workbooks or something. And you need to, and y'all, and your managers, your supervisors, that y'all need to be walking on floors. You need to be walking on floors and paying attention to your employees. It's not about just, it's not about having, having a body there, just because you shorthanded and you just need this person to come in today because you shorthanded. You know, it's bigger than that. You need to have somebody that's going to do the job 100%. Because there's a lot of these industry, there's a lot of these uh, 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 retailers that their customer service suck. Ass. Sucks. In the basement. Suck. You know. And that's what it's about is a lost art, man. You got to get back to it. Like I said, you managers, supervisors, anybody in management, uh, your CEOs, you need to be checking your people, man. Because I'm telling you, it's a new day now. This 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 pandemic, man, a lot of people done been able to sit back and, you know, get their mind right and analyze a lot of things and look over their life and look over the way they're being treated. You know what I mean? And, um... I'm going to tell you right now, man, there's going to be some issues when a lot of people really do wake up, wake up, you know, it's going to be a lot of business to lose. It's going to be a lot of companies that's going to lose business when, when people really wake up because I see the way things go on out here with a lot of these, with some of these uh, 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 companies, man, like how they do with this customer service and things of that nature, man. Bad business, man. It's not about... Just having a body there to fill the void or fill your your shortage of an employee for that day. It's not about that. It's 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 more than that. It's about you need to be having the right employees in there. When you interviewing these 
these these these these these people you need to be getting an understanding and schooling them on customer service and testing them and seeing if they know if they don't know that's fine everyone has to be taught the etiquette is is an art that's it so man this, this is boy Sean man I I ain't even expect to take that much time but man customer service must be done one